I'm getting ready to use my modeling bench for the first time since getting the remodeling done in this part of my house. What I'm going to be focusing on now is getting the LED lighting in the building. All right, so I've drilled a few holes here for this gooseneck light and here for the light for that'll go underneath the roof for this front deck. And I've also installed this LED here for the interior. Now what I want to do now is go ahead and get the windows in the building before I start wiring up these lights. If you watched my video from a few weeks ago on designing your own LED circuits, I'm using all the principles from that video to design the circuit for this building. Here I have a half watt 500 ohm resistor that I'm going to use to limit the current on two of the LEDs. Now using Ohm's law, I've determined that the power through this resistor will be approximately 100 milliwatts and this is a 500 milliwatt resistor. So I have plenty of overhead with the resistor. Now I'm going to take some 26 gauge leads here. Get that stuff soldered into this board as well as the resistor. Alright, I'm going to use a micro brush to apply some flux. Now these two leads here will run to the 5 volt power source for the LED circuit. I have the window glass glued in place. I also added a figure. It's one of these prizer figures. So you can see the figure through the window there and also through the window there. What I'm going to do now, you can see I have my LEDs, my internal LED right here. Now Paul, one of my regular viewers, suggested I get some Mylar. I thought that was a pretty good idea, so I did. And not only is it good for shades for windows, but in this application, I'm going to put the mylar down inside the structure. Which will hide this part of the structure. But I think it will put a good backdrop to the inside of the building here so when I light it up you're not going to see all of this in here. So it's a bit of a view block. So I want to get that glued in place before I install my circuit card for the LEDs. Time to get these LEDs soldered up.
working with these small wires is very challenging. Okay, hopefully that's it. All right, before I glue the circuit board into the building, I want to test it. So I'm hooking my board power up to the 5 volt supply. Plug in the power supply. All right, I've got the lamp from the front porch. I've got the dock lamp. And we have the interior light. So everything's working like it should. So now I can go ahead and glue the circuit board into the building. All right, well, I have the circuit board glued in place. And I have the wires arranged where I think they'll be all right. Now the gooseneck is glued here in the back. This front micro LED for the front porch isn't glued. I'm going to leave that loose until I get the roof on and I can put that in a particular place. But I think I'm at the point now where I'm ready to put the roof on the building. So I have the two roof pieces. I have this piece that is whole from the original kit. And I have this piece that I cut since I sectioned the building. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those on now. I have the roof glued on. The Blair line greens feed and seed. I used tight bond to glue the glue the roof on. Now I haven't quite decided yet what I want to do for roofing material. I could use the masking tape and have like the rolled asphalt roofing. I've also been thinking about maybe doing like a metal roof using styrene. So I haven't really decided yet, but I'll have to make that decision very soon, like next. You can see what the building looks like with the roof on. And you might remember when I was putting the circuit board together that I soldered all of the LED wires into the circuit board. Now with the DPM building, I used screw terminals to attach the LED wires. Now the reason I didn't do that in this one is I don't have any access to the inside of the building now. Whereas the DPM building, the bottom of the building is open. This, this building is completely closed off now, so I don't have any access to the inside of the building. So I didn't want anything coming loose. So what I think I'll do now, is since we have the top of the building closed off, I'll go ahead and 
turn the LEDs on, turn the lights down, and see what it looks like. Now you can see here where the leads for the 5 volt power come out the bottom of the building. And of course, once this is mounted on the layout, those wires will go just directly down into the bench work. So now, I'm going to get it hooked up to the power supply, and we'll turn the LEDs on. Well, I'm really happy with the illumination level with the LEDs. And if you watch my video on designing your own LED circuits, you'll know that I run my LEDs at about 10 milliamps. I think that illumination level is just about right. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see if we can get a look inside here with the figure. And I think that Mylar does a good job in diffusing the background where it's white, but I don't think it distracts from looking inside the building. Now I got light coming through the top here, but that'll be taken care of when I get the roofing material on. So I'm pleased with the lighting level. I think it's just about right. So I think that's the end of part three. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you come back and join me again.